Cuba, an island in the Caribbean, has been battling with the spread of HIV and AIDS for decades. Some 22,000 people in a country of 11 million are currently living with HIV and AIDS, according to UNAIDS. The most vulnerable are men who have sex with men and pregnant women who can pass the virus to their newborn babies. But a dramatic shift occurred in June 2015 when Cuba officially became the first country in the world to eliminate transmission of HIV and AIDS and syphilis from mother to child. These claims were validated by the World Health Organization, WHO. Las intervenciones que se realizan para lograr este objetivo eh, van desde el despliegue de una importante campaña de comunicación social, de promoción de la salud, de consejería, de iniciativas que van al, eh, a incidir en el cambio de comportamiento, en la percepción de riesgo de las mujeres embarazadas que, tienen, eh, que están afectadas por el VIH. Now, out of every hundred babies that are born, only two or less have HIV positive results. Unaisi Rodriguez is one of the fortunate mothers who gave birth to a child free of HIV and AIDS. Worried about her own health, Unaisi keeps in touch with her doctors. <laughs> Patients such as Unaisi receive their antiretroviral medication free of charge from the pharmacy, a policy implemented by the government in 2001. Sponsored by the Cuban government and the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, the program offers hope for many families where the mother is HIV positive. Así la cosa se hace una operación cesárea para evitar el contacto del bebé con las secreciones vaginales y la sangre y además se le da tratamiento profiláctico al bebé durante seis semanas. The Cuban healthcare system, which is free for all citizens, is the driving force behind this important achievement. Hay más de 11,000 eh, consultorios de médicos y enfermeras de la familia que son la base del sistema de salud cubano. In addition, some 450 hospitals focus on providing medical attention to Cubans, whether they live within city limits or beyond, screening patients for early detection. Currently, research is underway for a vaccine against this deadly disease. Cuba's success in achieving the elimination of mother-to-child transmission of HIV and AIDS brings it one step closer to achieving the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal, which promotes good health for all people. This report was produced by Mary Ferreira and Isabel Dan for the United Nations.